Yes, I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> I just, you know, I tried going to the gym and just like going to the gym like normal people. That's just not me. Um, but I can get through it if I'm just on the treadmill. I bring my Kindle with me and read a book while I'm walking, fast or slow, whatever. I feel like my lungs and knees, knee, needs, my lungs and knees are in the mood for, and that works for me. And I'm just on the treadmill getting my steps in and the husband comes and gets me when he's done and that works. So that's what we did this morning. And then we came home. I've taken a shower obviously, because as you can see, my hair's wet. Um, I watered the plants and all that stuff. And so now I'm going to do, work on my homework and some amigurumi. I don't think we're doing anything else today, but I'll let you know. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I think it's the 22nd of October. Um, it's just before 10 a.m. I have already been to Portland International Airport and back, had breakfast, had coffee, checked on a couple things. I've been to the office supply store for some stuff because today is reorganizing crochet patterns day. Um, not babysitting today because Junior and his mom are out of town and um, I'm in front of the post office. I just mailed a box to someone else I know who is um, struggling at the moment. Um, and so I mailed that off today. Don't know if it'll be well received or not, but that's not the point. Um, the one I mailed last week to the friend who's not feeling well should be there to her house tomorrow but I'll double check tracking when I get back to the house. Now we're gonna stop at one more place on the way home. I need to get a bigger rope basket for Junior's blocks and because they're in a crazy disorganized way right now. Um, but then I can use one of the things that we're using for the blocks now for the amigurumi I've been making. So. Um, yeah, and I can get rid of the cardboard box that some of the blocks are in, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey, guys, I spent the afternoon crocheting because, of course, I did. I have to catch up on daily drawings and edit the vlog. I haven't done that yet, but I did get a clownfish made and a seahorse. Um... And I have no more of this color yarn. I used every single last millimeter. Um, but that's, co that's cool. I'm going to do a crab next. And then a chicken. Um, anyway, one of the things I have known for a bit um, with making amigurumi or anything that you want to put safety eyes on is pushing the little washers onto the back of the safety eyes is difficult. Um, these are the little washers and <clears throat> you push those onto the backs of, okay, hold on. I'll grab a big one, uh, backs of here. So the little washer fits over here and you can see the little grooves there. And so you push it down far enough to sandwich the fabric between the eye and the, the little washer in the back, catch it on one of these grooves and then it's not gonna come out, um, which is great in theory, but they're really hard to put on. There are some random tools out there that kind of have mixed reviews and are really, are really expensive, but I had, I had this. 
So if you're a sewist and you have been for a long time and you do anything with eyelets, you've seen this. I've had this for a long time. I do put eyelets in things occasionally. I never use this. I have a different way of doing it. Um, it comes with uh, the ability to punch, to cut the hole as well as help set the eyelet. And I just had my husband, I said, can you get this metal thing off? Because then it's perfect for doing the safety eyes. And I just put the eyeball here and the washer over here and squeeze, it works great. Um, he tried and he can't get the whole thing off. I said, well, can you just get the sharp metal teeth off that are on here? He said, yeah, that I can do. So he did, he took the metal teeth off and ground it down fairly flat. So now when I'm doing the safety eyes, I just put the eyeball in here, the washer on top of it as far as I can get. I line this up so that the post for the eyeball goes in the hole right there. And then I just squeeze and it works like a charm, no matter how big or small the eyes are. I haven't had a single problem with them since he did that for me. Love that man. Um, <laughs> anyway, so look, if you're doing something similar, look around your space, see what tool like I had that I'm not really using very much. And maybe you can uh, adapt something to work rather than go spend money on buying something. Anyway, all right. I also bought a few, I did buy a few supplies, some sheet protectors and a couple more binders, rearranged some things. All my amigurumi and crochet plant patterns are here in this giant binder and everything else is in smaller binders, which is fine. <sighs> anyway, all right. I'm gonna edit the vlog and we're gonna do some drawings and I'll be back. Okay. Despite the fact that I just wanna sit in a chair all day and be a potato, um, I did get the vlog edited. I did get my daily drawings done. I did get my journaling done. I am gonna sit and watch a YouTube video or two and probably start on my crab. Now, some of these patterns are from a library book. I don't remember which one, um, but there's plenty of um, crochet patterns at your, probably if your local library is like mine, there's plenty of crochet pattern books there. Um, also there's like tons of them all over the internet. So, um, there's no shortage of them around and there's lots of YouTube videos, how to's. I just prefer instead of making the big amigurumi out of blanket yarn, taking that same pattern using a thinner yarn. This is a three weight DK yarn, um, and a three millimeter of course, why would I put my glasses on? Because, you know, they're far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three millimeter crochet hook. This is an inexpensive one that I believe is from Daiso. Um, and yeah, just making the smaller ones instead. And uh, yeah, I prefer that. Uh, I've made them big. I do have some blanket yarn. I'm gonna end up turning it into a giveaway blanket, um, the yarn that I have left, and or slippers and stuff like that, because it's just not, and using up what I have because it's not my favorite yarn. I kind of knew that already. I haven't crocheted or knitted anything for a very long time until recently. Um, but yeah, I should have listened to myself because yeah, I do know better. Anyway, the, the vlog is rendering. We'll get it uploaded and scheduled before I turn the computer off for the evening. Bob has a late night meeting with Asia. And so he's probably gonna go walking afterwards. I don't know if I will or not because just stuff. Um, we'll see. All right. I'll be back. If you've been watching the vlog for a while, this isn't the first time you've seen me with, well, messy, I would say messy hair, but let's be honest. I have Einstein hair. Um, uh, and, but it's not the first time you've seen me in my pajamas. But anyway, it is almost 1030. I've had trouble getting going this morning. Uh, for those unaware, uh, 30 plus years ago when I was pregnant with our daughter, um, she just turned 30 this year. Um, I was only a few weeks pregnant with her and I was in a, involved in a head-on collision with somebody who ran a red light. Um, it messed up my, ba my back, my neck, um, and my back. Uh, I kind of, I guess, naively thought temporarily and that once my body recovered, it would be fine. <laughs> uh, 
uh, it's not true. Um, so every now and then since then, it really, I just, it bothers me. It comes back to haunt me. Uh, I wake up in the morning with it really hurting and not feeling well. Um, so this morning was one of those days. So I just took it slow, took it easy. I didn't have, I don't have to be anywhere today. Not babysitting today. Um, so I had my coffee. I forced myself to eat something. I was in pain, so I wasn't really hungry, but I forced myself to eat something so that I could take some pain medication, which I did. And now it's starting to kick in and I feel better. So I'm going to take a nice long hot shower, which I don't normally do. I'm a quick shower girl. Um, and then we're going to just take it easy today. Excuse me. Uh, coffee burps. Um, we're going to take it easy today and I'm not going to plan on getting a whole bunch of stuff done or having a schedule or anything. We're going to go grocery shopping later. Um, but other than that, I can just sit in my chair and relax, maybe do a little crocheting if I'm feeling up to it and the headache goes away. Um, headache slash neck ache. So we'll see. But anyway, let's get myself dressed first. I'll be back. So it's almost four o'clock. My neck is finally starting to feel better. It's still not 100%. Anyway, we're going to go down the street. There's a house that's for sale. The realtor is asking people in, na in the neighborhood to come look at it and see what they think about the house and how it's priced. I did let my daughter know. We don't know what we're talking about. Daughter's the realtor, though, so I let her know about it. Anyway, I did get some sewing done, fixed a sweatshirt for Mr. Bob, and... <laughs> I made a new bag of bags, chain thing. I'll put a picture here and I'll link the video I got the idea from down below. It's a cute, wild, crazy idea. Husband's gonna just shake his head and yeah, but that's normal. Anyway, I will probably start working on the chicken amigurumi that I wanna make today uh, when, we, when I get back. And I think we're gonna try to go grocery shopping either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'll be back. Morning, everybody. Yes, you hear Junior in the background. He has figured out how to use Oma's Polaroid camera and taken a picture of her. It is not the most flattering <laughs> photo of me ever taken, but you know, uh, what are you going to do? We already um, moved cars around this morning because my dad's car is here. He left it here when he went out of town on vacation. And we did that this morning. I fixed the covering for some of our patio furniture this morning. I had a big tear in it um, because sometime in the next 24, 48 hours, it's time to cover the outdoor spigots, cover the patio furniture, cover the air conditioner, all the things for winter. Um, so we're going to get that done anyway. But today's babysitting day, so we'll have to work it in where we can. All right, I'll be back. Oh, and I hear somebody is like a little bit crabby because he might be teething or something. We don't know. I'll be back. I am relieved of babysitting early today by a couple of hours because little mister's not feeling good. So, not sure what's up with him, but yeah, he's definitely not feeling good. He wouldn't even eat his apple. So, anyway, mommy and daddy took him home. They've got medicine for him at home, and if need be, they'll take him to the doctor. I think he's got a little bit of a cold. He doesn't have a fever, but he's got all the other symptoms. So, anyway. All righty. It's okay. I have lots of other stuff to do. I enjoy spending time with him, but 
And I would have kept babysitting him sick or not, but I don't have any cough syrup or anything for him. So yeah, anyway. All right, let's go upstairs and get some stuff done up there. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, October 25th. It's just before lunch. I have been working this morning. Well, I slept in this morning because I could, because yeah. Um, Junior is getting better. He did finally get, I guess, a good night's sleep last night and an extra nap in after he went home. He's definitely got a cold or something going on, but anyway. Um, I am working on November scheduled posts and November Patreon this morning before I work on finishing my next Amigurumi and um, catch up on daily drawings. Uh, so yeah. This requires me maybe turning on some music and or a podcast and just sitting and figuring out I need to figure out some words. So I'll be back. So we got all the social media posts for November done. Um, we got including Patreon and um, my Facebook group and Artsy Trio. And I got a couple things created for patrons and supporters. So that's over on Patreon. We are going to be focusing a little bit on um, art for therapy next month. I needed to make myself a new um, art for therapy journal because evidently I used up the last one. Um, no idea. So I start out with just random paint, paint splotches, background, ink splotches, whatever, on um, whatever journal I find in the closet. That's what this is. You just saw that clip. Um, it's got to dry completely and then I will focus on the rest of it. I'm using some acrylic inks that I had in my stash. Will they work well? I don't know. Does it matter? No, <laughs> it's not that kind of journal. So, um, that's all done. I still have to catch up on daily drawings. I may or may not do that today, but I think I want to sit and work on my latest Amigurumi right now. We're going out for dinner later with the kids. One of uh, them has birthday yesterday. Well, it was yesterday, so we're celebrating today. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the minute. All right, I'll be back. It is the end of the day on Saturday. Well, sort of. It's 5.30ish. Um, we spent the most of the day with adopted daughter and her husband, son-in-law, adopted son-in-law, celebrating his birthday, which was Thursday. Uh, it was a really great day. Um, I did get, she and I both crochet and I got a fox done, put it here. And I also got a little whale done. Now the whale pattern I've done before in um, a big one and bigger yarn and blanket yarn, but I wanted to make a little one. I really prefer the little ones. I'm gonna be using up or giving away the leftover blanket yarn I have because I don't like working with it. Anyway, so that was good. We voted, well, filled out the ballots. We're gonna go drop them off tomorrow. And I'm going to finish um, my art for therapy journal, just random ink splotches. And we're gonna do that to the rest of it and get that done so it can dry. Well, it's a multi-day process because these little journals have a lot of paper in them. So yeah, it's been a good day. Nice, quiet, chill. We did eat too much for dinner last night, so yeah, that's the thing. Haven't been super hungry, <laughs> but anyway. All right, let's get this done. I'll be back.
laundry is started and Bob is going around the outside of the house and um, putting on the insulator things for the outdoor spigots and things. So things will get frozen because that's bad. Um, it's not that cold yet, but it's getting there. Um, you can see it's cloudy and rainy and wet and yeah, welcome to Oregon. <laughs> but anyway, it's that time of year, so he's doing that. I watered the house plants. I think I'm gonna make a hedgehog next. This is just where my brain is. It's all over the place. Welcome to my world <laughs> right now. So anyway, it's, oh, no mail. That's, that's okay. So anyway, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun today just sitting and chatting with and crocheting with adopted daughter Jenny. Um, it was It's a lot of fun to share your things that you love with the family and even the boys who aren't interested in crocheting at all. They love the creatures when I make them. <laughs> it's just, Brian and Bob both just think they're hilarious. Uh, anyway, um, I will try to remember to include a little picture slideshow of all the ones I've made uh, up until this point. And uh, for you all, patterns are mostly from Etsy. Um, some of the little ones are from a series of books. They are not my patterns. Um, they're from all over the place. You can find patterns all over the internet. You can get the books at your library. There's a series of books of mini amigurumi. I don't remember the author's name. I'll try to put it here. Um, they're really cute and they're really quick and they're really small and they're easy. Um, so anyway, if you're interested in a specific pattern and who the um, creator was, please let me know if I can remember to, oh, no guarantee, I <laughs> will put the creators in the video description and you can like Google them and do some searching. Um, but yeah, go to Etsy and look up Amigurumi patterns. Here's the spelling right here. Anyway. That's it for this week, I think. It's an interesting week. I'm trying to get over past my issues with my mental health and back on a good track. I have counseling next week and uh, we'll see how that goes. But we're getting there. It's all right, I'm making it work. Um, tomorrow's gonna be an interesting time. We're going for a drive. We're listening, going to listen to a lecture, but that's for next week's vlog. <laughs> All right, that's it for today and this week. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate that. Try to watch the videos all the way through because I don't make a lot here on YouTube, but the little bit I make is because you're watching the videos. Um, check out the video description for relevant links, ways to share the content, and uh, ways to share the content, ways to, ways to support the content, and um, other miscellaneous crazy stuff is down there so check it out uh don't forget to leave questions comments or concerns down below please take care of your men mental health i am by no means or stretch an expert on that by anybody's standards but there's plenty of people out there that can um, help you so please reach out to somebody and um, get the help if you need it 
and uh, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.